Hello everyone, this is Aziz and today I will be teaching you something very interesting. So this is so this is the picture I have captured a few months ago and I will be teaching you how to convert this picture into this picture. This is the before and this is the after. So let's start. I have my picture here. I'll first of all I make a copy of this picture. So and then I'll go to filter, camera raw filter, and make some adjustments. I'll increase shadows. I'll increase the contrast a little bit. I'll in That's fine. Nothing else. And then I'll click OK. Now, what I'll do is I'll make a new layer by clicking here. I'll make a new layer and I'll name this layer Light Rays. Then I'll select my rectangular marquee tool. I'll make a rectangle somehow, yes, and then I'll fill it with the black color. This is the color I have chosen I can change it so it's, it's black and then I'll deselect this layer select and deselect and then I'll go to filter and I'll go to render and I'll go to clouds sorry I'll control plus click this layer and then I'll go to filter render and clouds all right and then and now I'll just deselect this layer and now I'll go to filter blur and radial blur and then I'll click zoom here and amount to 100 and then I'll click to ok here we have the light rays and now what I'll do is I'll change the blending mode to screen and I'll place them here like it's coming from the brightest part of the sky and I'll mask out the unnecessary light rays I'll mask out this portion and then after doing all this I'll make a new layer and then I'll merge all these layers what I have done so far by pressing control plus shift plus alt plus e so we have all these adjustments in one layer and then now again I'll I'll what I'll do I'll I'll may I'll go here I'll go to i I'll click here and I'll go to selective color and then I'll I'll change yellows and greens. I'll go to greens. I'll increase yellows. And then I'll go to yellows. Increase yellows. And now I'll again make a new layer. I'll combine all my layers by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E. And then I'll go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And then here I'll increase the contrast again a little bit. I'll increase the shadows a little bit. I'll increase the vibrance a little bit. I'll increase the sharpness a little bit. And I'll go to Radial Filter and then I'll make all these zero and I'll decrease exposure to something like this and I'll make
all right and now i'll go to curves and increase the contrast here a little bit Increase sharpness and increase contrast and I'll So we are done and here we go. This is our before and this is after. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.